Dividend distribution tax is not given. Still, we are supposed to remember 20.358 divided by 120.358. A warm welcome to one and all. This is your Adasa here. Lecturing with the Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are in the session 4, Unit 3 of Corporate Tax Planning. Under this, we are discussing the topic called Tax Planning and Financial Management Decisions. Under Financial Management Decisions, we are discussing Capital Structure. As I told you, there are two topics under this chapter, our unit. One will be capital structure, another one will be dividend policy. Right now, we are discussing capital structure, which are going to come for 15 marks in your examination. So, agenda will be all about problems. And your problem number six, we done with five problems in your capital structure and we are into problem number six. In this, Gagan Company Limited wants to raise capital of rupees 75 lakh for a project. The expected return on capital employed will be 20%. The company can raise debt fund at 12% per annum. Suggest which of the following three alternatives should it opt for if the tax rate is 26%. Now, as I told you, every problem we have to make a checklist. What is the checklist in that? First one, return on investment. Second one, what is your investment? And the third one, your corporate tax rate. Corporate tax rate. The next one, your dividend distribution tax. These are the things we are supposed to find out or identify. Now, return on investment, investment, corporate tax, dividend distribution tax. Now, once if it is done, then we have to go for your interest on debenture. This we can come later. Now, what is your return on investment in this? Your return on investment is 20%. Debt fund, what is the investment? 75 lakh. Now, so what is the corporate tax? It is always 26%. Dividend distribution tax is not given. Still, we are supposed to remember 20.358 divided by 120.358. This is your corp, uh, dividend distribution tax. Now, we have three options. So, what is the requirement? 75 lakh. What is the option number one? 100% equity capital. So, 75 lakh is equity. First one. Second one. 50% equity, 50% debenture. Then it will be 75 lakhs divided by 2. 75 lakh divided by 2. It will be 37 lakh 50,000. 37 lakh 50,000. 37 lakh 50,000. 1, 2. This 37 lakh 50,000 is equity. This one is what? Debenture. What is the percentage? The percentage is 13%. Hope you are clear. Good. Now, 30% equity, 70% debenture. Now, in this, 30% equity. What is the 30% in this? 75 lakh into 30%. 22,50,000 equity and balance. How much it is? 75 lakh into 70 percent. 52 lakh 50,000. Fifty 
debenture and a percentage is 13 percent. Now, so these are the calculations we know and we have in this. Now, what will be the decision if the ROI is 30 percent? Return on investment is 30 percent. How to calculate? See, this is problem number one. For what? 20 percent. Again, you are supposed to do one more problem that is for 30 percent. Hope you are clear? Yes. Now, Computation of rate of return after tax and dividend when the capital employer will be 20% in this. What is the equity? This is the first one. Option 1, 75 lakh, yes. 37, 50 lakh and debenture 37, 50, yes. 22 lakh, 50 thousand and debenture 52 lakh, 50 thousand, yes. So all the information as per basic, what we calculated. Now, Next, return on capital employed. We are doing for what percentage? 20. Again, we have to do one more problem for 30 percent. Now, 20 percent, 15 lakh, 15 lakh, 15 lakh. On 75 lakh, you are supposed to calculate. 75 lakh into 20 percent, it is 15 lakh. Then, less interest on debenture, 13 percent. Do we have debentures? No. Do we have debentures? Yes. On this 13 percent. 4 lakh 87 500. Similarly, you have debenture of 52 lakh 50. On this 13 percent, this will be 6 lakh 82 500. Now, whatever the debentures you have, on that you are supposed to calculate your percentage. Now, we are done with this. After that, less corporate tax at 26 percent. What is the corporate tax? Your corporate tax is 26 percent. On your 15 lakh, 26 percent will be 3 lakh 90 thousand. 10 lakh, 12 thousand, 26 percent, 2 lakh 63. And 8 lakh 17 thousand into 26 percent, you will get 2 lakh 12 thousand 5. 50. Up to this, any doubt, no doubt. Now, so up to this we have completed and your earning after tax is 11,10,000, 7,49,000 and 6,4,950. Once if you are done with this, the next topic will be dividend distribution tax. What is it? Dividend distribution tax. Under this, Whatever answer you got, 11 lakh 10,000, 7 lakh 49,000, 6 lakh 4,000. Take all the answers. 11 lakh 10,000, 7 lakh 49,000, 6 lakh 4,000. Multiplied with 20.358 divided by 120.358. Always remember we should take 120 because dividend already included in this. In this, dividend is already included. That's why we take 120, not 100. Now, you will get 1,87, 1,26, 1,2,000. Now, what you are supposed to do? 11,10,000 minus 1,8,000. Then, 7,49,000 minus 1,26,000 then 6,4,000 minus 1,2,000 your answer is 5,2,625 once uh, 626 once you are done with this what is the next procedure A rate of return after tax and dividend A rate of return after tax and dividend now so in this what happens 922 one calculation, two calculation, three calculation divided by what? Equity. Now, in the first one, equity is 75 lakh. Second, 37 lakh 50. Third, 22 lakh 50. Remember this 75 lakh, 37 lakh 50,000, 
22 lakh 50 thousand now 75 lakh 37 lakh 50 thousand 22 lakh 50 thousand hope you are clear good so after that you got 12.30 16.60 and 22.34 which one is higher your 22.34 is a higher one so highest one should be considered as your option like option one two three which is better we should go for option three your conclusion the third alternative plan that is equally capital of 2250 and eventually of 5250 is better because the rate of return after dividend and tax is 22.34 hence is the third alternative plan when it is compared to the other two plans hope you are clear good similarly so whatever you have done that is up to what 20 percent whatever you have done this is for 20 percent now what we are supposed to do 30 percent everything will remain as it is except 75 lakh 20 percent you have done the next problem will be 75 lakh into 30 percent hope you are clear yes this problem is for 30 percent this problem is for 30 percent now the same calculation it will not change 75 lakh into 30 percent it will become 2250 2250 2250 minus interest it will not change the same answer you will get on this 13 percent on this 13 percent it will not change will write the same value so it will be 22 lakh 17 lakh 15 lakh minus corporate taxation of 26 percent on this 26%, 26%, 26%. calculation of 26%, you got 16 lakh 65, 13 lakh 4000, 11 lakh 59,000. This is earning after tax. So after earning after tax, we calculated this amount I let you know in the calculation dividend distribution tax now what is the dividend distribution tax very simple in this what is the value 16 lakh 65,000 16 lakh 65,000 multiplied with 20.358 whole divided by 120.358 first one second Second one, you have 13 lakh 4250. 13 lakh 4250 multiplied with 20.358 divided by 120.358. And the third one, 11 lakh 59,950. 11 lakh 59,950. 20.358 and 120.358. Hope you are clear. Yes. Once you are done with this calculation, simplify this. 16 lakh 65,000 multiplied with 20.358 divided by 120.358. How much you got? 2 lakh 81, 627. See? 2 lakh 81, 627. 2 lakh 81, 627. The answer already given in this only clear. So it should go to next slide. Similarly, the second calculation 13 lakh 04, 250 multiplied with 20.358 divided by 120.358 so 2 lakh 20607 yes 2 lakh 20608 2 lakh 20608 now next one last calculation 11 lakh 
59,950 multiplied with 20.358 divided by 120.358. So how much it is? 1,96,200. 1,96,200. Hope you are clear. As I'll check previous one. 1,96,200. Now you are supposed to minus 16 lakh minus 2 lakh 81. You will get 13 lakh, 10 lakh and 9 lakh. These are your calculation. Once you are done, you have to divide by what? Equity value. Divide by equity value. What is the equity value? 75 lakh, 37, 50 and 22 lakh, 50,000. 75 lakh, 37 lakh, 50,000 and 22 lakh, 50,000. Now your answer is 18.44. 28.90 and 42.83. What is the right answer now? In this, the right answer is 42.83 is your final answer. Hope you are clear. Yes. Your conclusion will be what? 42.83. Your option 3 is considered. Now, I'll go back to all your previous slide. Please take screenshot. Your problem number 6. Solution part. Your solution, conclusion, your solution of part B, if it is 30% solution, conclusion. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood. Please work out the same problem again and again so that you will understand better. In the next session, we'll go with one more problem. That problem is your previous year question paper problem. We will only solve the next problem. Please don't skip any classes. Thank you.